Hello everyone, my name is Cody Procknow and I will be discussing um, the market for running shoes in terms of demand and supply. So at a price of $175, the quantity demanded is one. At a price of $100, the quantity demanded is two. And at a price of $75, the quantity demanded is three. Factors that could decrease demand include that I could expect to be running less miles. So less running means less of a demand for running shoes. The second factor is that I could be working less because of school, so I would have less income or less money to pay for shoes. And the third is that there could be a new workout trend, such as CrossFit. Um, so this could cause me to start running less and decrease my demand for running shoes. So we see this shift in the decrease in demand by this purple line here. So now at a price of $175, the quantity demanded is zero. At a price of $100, the quantity of running shoes demanded is one. And at a price of $75, the quantity of running shoes demanded is now two instead of three. So now we'll look at the supply side of the market for running shoes. Um, so at a price of $75, the quantity of running shoes supplied um, is gonna be one. At a price of $100, the quantity of running shoes supplied is two. And at a price of $175, the quantity of running shoes supplied is three. The factors that could increase supply include an increase in the technology of the machines used to make the shoes. So that would make production more efficient and more effective and um, a little more cost effective as well. The second is that new running shoe brands that emerge um, will increase the number of sellers. And the third is that the price of the fabric used in the shoe decreases. So this would be a lower input price. And this increase in supply is represented by this black line here. So now at a price of $75, the quantity of running shoes supplied will be two. At a price of $100, the quantity of running shoes supplied will now be three. And at a price of $175, the quantity of running shoes supplied will now be four. So now we'll look at how the demand and supply curves interact. So the blue and green lines shows our original demand and supply curves. Um, and this shows that our equilibrium is going to be at point A originally. So um, the original equilibrium is at a quantity of 2 for the demand and supplied. And it is also going to be at a price of $100. Um, with the shift of the decrease in demand and the increase in supply, that takes our equilibrium from point A to point B. So the new equilibrium after um, the decrease in demand and the increase in supply is now at a price of $75 and um, at a quantity of two demanded and two supplied.